deep in the heart of Texas. We're in the business of winning. Don't bet against me. I don't, don't bet anyone. Don't lose your life. I'd said on my last video, it would be the last one I do about stats and whatnot, but I got drugged back in and someone wanted me to prove or show my work on the claim I made, I've made i made before saying that if Jordan merely played out his career in terms of his retirement years, he would be first in points, uh, essentially first in steals. Uh, top 15 in assist and like top 60 or 70 in blocks and rebounds for a shooting guard. Um, so I just want to show my work real quick. Just a, a quick video. And also we understand Jordan doesn't get credit for this. This is just a thought experiment and someone wanted me to like show my work or what have you. So uh, for the first year, he's retired in 94-95. He played 17 games. We'll just use these stats. It's These are conservative numbers. Considering he probably, you know, if as the year went on, he probably would have had, you know, a lot of these numbers would have gone up, especially the points per game. But we'll just use these numbers, right, to be conservative and, you know, to be sort of on the plus side a little bit in terms of, um, you know, being right or wrong, right? We want to be on the, the positive end in terms of the margin of error. Um, so 26.9, 17 games, minus 85, so 65 times 26.9. That's what he would have had in addition to this year, right? The 17 games, this would have been the amount of points he had in the games he didn't play. Then for this year, if you divide the difference between these numbers here, it comes out to just under 30. So we will use 29, right? Again, just to be conservative. So you add these numbers together. That's what he would have had the year and a half he retired the first time, essentially in points. For this year, uh, we want to do a regression down to whatever number we pick as the bottom now for to for an advantage would just to be would be to pick 22.9 correct and say uh from 28.7 to 22.9 we'll just do a regression in points um but i use 21 just to be again on the conservative side again this means the points are going to fall faster uh the average will be pulled down right so I use 21. So 21 will be what we're trying to hit this first year instead of 22.9. He played more games and more minutes per games at uh, per game as with this 20 point per average. Again, I understand he's a year older, so the 22.9, I you know, would still be fair, but I use 21 just to be safe, right? Just to be again on the on the good side in terms of the margin of error. So essentially 21 to 28.7 is a 7.7 .7 difference. If you divide that by four, cause again, we want to go one, two, three, and then hit, hit the fourth, that fourth number, right? Which would be 21. Essentially, if you're looking at it in years going down, that comes out to 1.925. Uh, so you're going to take away 1.9 points off this 28.7 uh, every year. Uh, and then the, the second year, so we'll do 1.9 off here. And then this year, we're going to round up and just make it an even two points to cover the point the 1.925, the hundreds uh, portion. So that way it'll round up and we'll get rid of that and make the, you know, make it match better. <clears throat> so 1.9 minus 2 points minus 1.9 here again. And then if you take 1.9 off this year into this year, it'll bring you to 21. So that's how I do that. Just a simple regression of the points per game, right? So 28.7 uh, 28 minus 1.9. And for anyone who's a math whiz, I'm sure there's some terminology I'm, you know, 
that, that's probably out there some formula but if you also know that you you understand what I what I just said so 28.7 minus 1.9 is 26.8 Remember, the second time, we're just going to take two off. So 24.8. And then 1.9 off 24.8 is 22.9. And then if we were to take 1.9 off of 22.9, that gets us to the 21 number. That would be this next next time, right? So that's what, that's what you know brings it about or what we're trying to do right we're trying to go from the top to the bottom the bottom is 21 that we're shooting for and again this is an advantage to the other side of the argument or you know again uh, 22.9 is a higher average than 21 simply put uh so essentially you'd have <clears throat> these are the three years he was retired uh so to 18 1,877.8 plus 2,033.6 plus 2,197.6 plus this 4,000 number, which was for the year, year and a half, he was retired. Ten thousand two thirty five point five his total points thirty two ninety two equals forty two and a half thousand right and LeBron's at thirty nine four hundred something three hundred something I think so again a year ago when I said this he was probably up by about four thousand four and a half thousand points so that's just to do the points and again it doesn't change any of his totals right it doesn't no, nothing i did involves this 32,292 number we just do the remainder of the year that he came back from retirement the first time just use that 17 game average for the rest of the 65 games and then for the the year first year he was fully retired the whole year you just cut cut the difference in half Average down, round down, uh, use 29 points. And then again, from to get to 28.7 to 21 is what we did here. And just use those three years times 82 games. We're just going to assume he plays 82. And <clears throat> gets us to essentially 10,235 and a half points. Roughly, again, you could shave a hundredth of a point here, change a little here, and it could change it by a little bit, right? So, but roughly 10,235 points added on to 32, 292. Get you to 42 and a half thousand, essentially, which would be most all time. You can do that same thing with steals. So, for this, again, you do 1.8 times 65. You'd pick the difference between the 2.8 and the 1.8. That'd be 2.3, right? Which is in line with his career average. It's a, that's a good number. From this 1.7 to he essentially average one and a half, correct in Washington. So you could just do 1.7, 1.6, 1.6, 1.5, or something, right? And if you just change a tenth of a point or something, it's going to change the the totals but essentially he's like 50 behind John Stockton I think if you use those numbers I just gave uh he's like 50 behind John Stockton so again if you wanted to you know maybe he gets two and a half steals this year you know when he's still playing and if you wanted to kind of argue well this 1.8 would be more like a two two and a half maybe you know if he had Again, this is a low number, kind of, right? So the steals argument, you could say he'd get, he'd probably pass John Stockton if he would have kept producing. And maybe this year here, this 1.8, and the year before, like maybe he gets over two and a half, right, or something. That would be the difference. Uh, but we can do assist too. Assist is a little more tricky, but uh, for this number here, Right, so 5.3 assists, we'll just take that. 
Uh, the difference here would be 5.4. So add 787 assists for this first time he was retired. Now, his little assists here could be a little tricky, but again, we'll be conservative. He largely averaged about four assists in Washington. Uh, remember that 3.8 being a heavier number than the 5.2. Uh, weighted heavier. And he ended with 3.5. So if you wanted to give him 3.5 for the first year and four for the next two or three and a half for the first two years and four, uh, four for the for for that third year while he was retired, you know, depending on how you want to do it. So you get 1,730 assists that he would have gotten in total, right? So again, just to recap the work, 5.3 times 65 for the year he came back, 5.4 times 82 for the first year he was fully retired. That's a total of 787.3. And then if you wanted to give him three and a half and four, I just did four assists times 164 games uh, instead of doing it twice. But um, 656 plus that three and a half year comes out to 943 plus 787.3 is 1,730. His assist totals plus 5633. Seven hundred three six or seven thousand three sixty three. Put some yeah, like right at fifteenth, you know. And again, if you wanted to adjust or you know just shave a tenth here or there, he'd be ahead of Mo Cheeks, right? So that was how I largely got to the work. Oh, you guys can't see that. Sorry. Yeah, Mo Cheeks has. 73, 92, so that's roughly, he'd be 15th, 16th, right? So, but yeah, that's essentially how I did it. Just want to show my work, quick video, and um, yep, that'll be it on this one. See you on the next one.